Jeremy, it is only February, but Shawnee County officials are getting spring and summer fever. Commissioner Aaron Mays is here to update that and some other things that are happening at the county level. But summer's fun, so let's talk about that first because it's February, but you are already looking to fill summer positions in Shawnee County. Yeah, we're already hiring lifeguards and concession workers and camp counselors and all of that type of thing right now. The pool uh, would freeze over this time of year. It, well, well we not, think, not we no, Jeremy ahead. just said it's 60 well, degrees true. outside. That it's beautiful <laughs> today, uh, probably still a little too cold to swim, but uh, we do all of our uh, lifeguard training indoors. So uh, hopefully you're uh, ready for it. Yeah, we'll be ready for it. What has Shawnee County been able to do? Because several years ago there were some issues with keeping pools open because of staffing situations. What has Shawnee County done to be able to fill those positions, not just the lifeguards, but also all those summer camp positions that are so important to actually make the camps run? Yeah, well, number one, we've raised the wage. Um, so the, the starting wage is $10 an hour, and we also hire as low as young as 15 years old now. So uh, we can get people in the door, get them uh, trained up and, and on the job uh, as soon as possible. How many positions? Uh, we've got about 200 lifeguard positions. And you've got them posted now? Oh, that's just lifeguards. Yeah, so you've got more than they're that. They're on the website. Yeah, we've got about 35 concession workers. Um, and I'm not really sure how many camp counselors, but I know it's quite a few. Quite a few. And you've, is registration open for those camps yet, or when does that start Okay, opening? so summer camps, uh, registration opens March 5th. And so... If you're a parent in, to, in Shawnee County, you know that it's tough to get into some of those camps. Right. And so March 5th is the day that they, get, that they open up. You make sure you get in, uh, check the calendar in advance, make sure you've got those weeks blocked off and, uh, and get in while you can. SNCO.us, the Shawnee County's website where all of that information is That's posted. Exactly right. And speaking of summer and lifeguards, you have a big date set now, something official with the Oakland Pool. Yeah, so we have finally arrived to the point of construction on the Oakland Pool. And so we have a groundbreaking next Thursday, the 15th, at 1.30 p.m. at the Oakland Community Center, where we are going to start the construction process on that pool. So that is a big step, but what does it mean for the people who live there? There's been some kind of back and forth on whether you might be able to get it open for at least part of the season or whether you totally have had to wipe the season out. So we've we've kind of gone back and forth. At one time, we even thought we might be able to keep the old pool open while the new one's under construction. Turns out that's kind of a safety hazard. So we will be opening the pool next summer, but it'll be a little bit later than all the other pools. Okay. So we're looking for a July completion date so we can have that pool open, at least for the hottest part of the summer. Well, we'll knock on wood that there's good weather to <laughs> right. cooperate with all of the construction that would happen. Uh, something also you guys are watching is the state legislature. There are a lot of things that happen at the state level that impact what you can do at the county level. level. We're starting to hear talk about what's called the local ad valorem tax. And this is something that had been kind of passed through to cities and counties mm -hmm. many, many years ago. Then there was a budget issue and it kind of went away. Yes, I'm cities and counties have wanted it to come back. It has not come back. What's happening with it this year? And why are you making the argument that it's about time to bring it back? So the the LAVTR, as we call it, it's a reduction fund that's designed to give local government a little bit of the state's sales tax. Uh, and that's primarily because most local governments don't really get a lot of sales tax, uh, if any at all. And it is designed to reduce property taxes, which we keep hearing over and over from our citizens that that's the number one tax they want to get rid of. People hate property taxes. This is one way that the legislature can lower property taxes. Unfortunately, even though it is a law on the books in Kansas, they've not funded that for a long time. Now, the state is in a, a really good financial position right now, and I believe they're surplus is over three billion dollars we think at the municipal governments and county governments we think it's time that they give some of that money back to the local governments where it belongs so that we can lower property taxes what's the argument though because the, some some people would say well if they give it back to the local governments then they're going to have to raise something somewhere else or it prevents them from doing a reduction elsewhere i don't believe that to be the case i think the state government has plenty of money right now they could probably afford to do this um, and it is a current law. They've just chosen not to fund it. So this isn't even something that is a bill that gets a hearing. This is something that has to be as they progress through their budget discussions this year. Correct. And when do you get to testify on this and tell them and make this argument? Well, I, I, I'll, I'll take that last statement back. <laughs> there was a hearing. Okay. Uh, Senate tax had a, a hearing um, at the very beginning of session. 
Okay. Um, and so far, nothing's happened with it. So we're hoping that it gets put into the appropriations bill. All right, we will keep following those discussions. And again, SNCO.us has all of the information on the summer camp applications that are going to start to open, as well as those job applications that are already posted. Think now about the summer jobs. Yep. Commissioner Mays, appreciate you being here as yep. always. Thank you. Thank you. Well, your help is needed to stuff the bus to help people in need. We have those details next.